But I'll play as a tour bus tip in this mug. Wanted to show off and showcase this Angron that I finished. Heresy era, Horus Heresy, 30k. And uh, the completed base that he's on for a local client. So, uh, to get the gold or brassy look of his armor, I base coated Balthazar gold. And I dry brushed with Brass Scorpion. The reds were all corn red, shaded with... Um, Drukai Violet and Carabert Crimson then brought up with Corn Red and Mephiston Red. And the skin tones is Rackarth Flesh with Raikland Flesh Shade. And uh, somebody on my, uh, one of my Facebook posts had mentioned that the Butcher's Nails digging into his brain would probably make his nose and ear bleed, ears bleed. So I added some to me a clear red blood to come out of his ears and his nose. And I think that's a great touch. So... Awesome, awesome. Thank you for the suggestion. Uh, the brass look of the armor is, I think, a really good touch because it gives it a yellow, yellowish kind of uh, brass finish, which um, Angron and, and the World Eaters are known for. These hanging chains off the back, I decorated with a little bit of Tamir Clear Red. And these poor guys getting all chopped up. Uh, I don't know if you can see it from here. I'll turn the base up a little bit. But I also... Gave them a little bit of blood spatter using Tamiya Clear Red and uh, the brush flicking technique, which is basically putting some Tamiya Clear Red on your brush and uh, flicking it onto the model. And if you have a brush like a terrain brush or a dry brush or even an old toothbrush I've used before in the past, this flicking model or uh, flicking technique is very cool because it's very random and it gets the blood spatter in just a very random way, which is kind of uh, what what you want. The Death Guard Marine I painted on the base is Rakarth Flesh, shaded with, I believe it was Seraphim Sepia, and highlighted back up. And uh, the shoulder pads are Castellan Green with Balthazar Gold for the rims. And I also use Brass Scorpion for the rims of the World Eaters. And for the feet, I tried to m make the feet look like the Forge World painted model. So what I used was uh, AK Interactive has some dark earth pigments that I, I dry brushed on. And then I locked in with some white spirit. So there is the completed model. I'm very happy with how it turned out. And uh, I think the client will be happy with it. It's a, a beautiful, gorgeous model, and I'm really happy I got to do this commission. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment in uh, the description below. Also, the transfers on all of the Marines are from the transfer sheets. So I've got a Death Guard, a Horus Heresy transfer sheet, and I've got a World Eaters transfer sheet. And so the 12 for the 12th Legion, the 14 for the 14th Legion, and the two... World Eaters insignias are from that. And I kind of wanted to give uh, this one a the red World Eaters insignia. And this one I gave a gold insignia just to show maybe veteran status or a, a little bit more uh, seniority. And I really like the studded armor pieces. I think late in the Crusade era, era the history goes that when they were running out of materials to make these uh, armor plates, the Manufactorum would kind of reinforce them using uh, these kind of studs, which is why they've got uh, a lot of the older models have that kind of like studded look. I don't know, if, if, if you know the correct history, then please feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching again. We'll see you later.